Hi, this is Thomas from Rio Grande, and today we're going to do some rose gold plating. Let's get started with the rose gold plating. We need to first mix up our solution. So we're going to unbox the rose gold plating solution from Midas. This is a concentrate, so we do have to dilute it. As you can see, it's got many layers of packaging for safety. You will need a flathead screwdriver to open the can. And this is the concentrate solution. Inside we have vermiculite to capture any spills. Now let's go ahead and get it mixed up. You're going to add your water to your container first. Rule of thumb is to always add acid to water. Now we're going to add the concentrate. Now that we got it mixed, let's go ahead and add it to our beaker. Then we'll go ahead and start the magnetic stir. And we'll begin to heat our rose gold solution to 150 Fahrenheit. Now that the solution is mixed, we're ready to plate. Remember to always follow your SDS sheets for proper personal protection equipment. All right, let's get started. First step is to electro clean our piece. I'm gonna set our rectifier to six volts. I have my piece fixtured on a stainless steel handling wire. Stainless steel is a great option uh, for your handling material. It, it does not contaminate any of your plating solutions. So if you're not too sure of what can contaminate your solution, stainless steel is a great option. We're gonna electro clean for 30 seconds to one minute. You can see the hydrogen bubbles. The hydrogen bubbles are knocking off any dirt and oil that's, that are on the piece. The electro cleaner is stirred and heated. It's heated to 150 Fahrenheit. Now that we're done electro cleaning, we're gonna shake off any excess electro cleaner. Now I'm gonna go into our dedicated distilled water rinse. Just agitating the piece so we rinse all the electro cleaner off the surface. I have a dedicated rinse for each of my solutions. This prevents any drag out and cross contamination. Once the piece is rinsed, I'm gonna go into the acid dip neutralizer. The acid dip is not heated, it's at room temperature, and no electrical current is needed for the acid dip. The acid dip neutralizes any leftover chemical residue from the electro cleaner, and it prepares the surface for plating. We'll submerge the piece in the acid dip for 30 seconds to one minute. Once that's done, we're gonna shake off any excess acid dip, go directly into our dedicated distilled water rinse, and agitate the piece to make sure we get all that acid dip rinsed off. Once we're rinsed off, we're ready to go plate. We're gonna set our rectifier for three volts. All the voltage, temperature, and time parameters are all printed on the Midas bottle. So if you forget or need to reference that, always just look at the bottle. And we're gonna go into the rose gold solution. You see it's a pretty 14 karat color. And we're gonna go ahead and make it rose now. You can see the bubbles coming off the surface of the piece. It's depositing that rose gold color on there. And the Midas rose gold solution is stirred and is heated to 150 Fahrenheit. We're running it at three volts for one minute. Time is up. You can hear our timer beeping. We have our rose gold plated ring. We're gonna go into our dedicated distilled water rinse. Going to agitate that to get any excess rose gold solution off of there. Then we're going to go into the acid dip neutralizer. This is a precaution step to make sure that we neutralize any of the gold plating solution that could still be left on the surface. And we're going to acid dip neutralize for 30 seconds. Just going to gently agitate it, make sure it gets in all the nooks and crannies. Once the acid dip is done, we're gonna go back to our dedicated distilled water rinse. And we're gonna rinse off any of the excess acid dip. And now our piece is done. Turn that 14 karat color into that warm rose gold color. Thank you for watching, and if you have further questions, please contact us.